She doesn't care about you. She doesn't care about nothing that you do. She only cares about how you make her feel. So with that being said, you have to understand and realize that you trying to be this perfect guy. You trying to come through and swoop her up and show her the world and do everything right for her and just wife her up, put her on this pedestal. You aren't doing anything but digging yourself deeper in the hole because none of that matters to her. That's not what she's looking for. You will never be successful in dating and attract the women that you really want and keep them interested in you unless you understand and realize that she's not looking for you to be perfect she's looking for you to be different but the common misconception is proving yourself to her doing everything right going to tryouts working your way up to the team you've been programmed to do that you've been programmed to put her on this pedestal to basically prove yourself to her nobody has time for that the woman doesn't respect that it doesn't make you more attractive to her when she sees you trying harder and harder and harder to win her over she doesn't care about that bro she doesn't like you so when you showing off, when you're doing all the extras to try to impress her, she's registering in her mind that you one of them ones that she can manipulate. You one of them ones that's gonna go through hoops. You one of them ones that she can feed hopes to and sell dreams to because you being so nice, because you being so needy. You can't control her emotions like that. You can't make her feel differently on a consistent basis or whenever you want to doing that, running your game like that. It's basically like you coming down the court running the same play every single time, but you expecting to score on every possession. The defense is going to pick up after probably the second play on what you're doing. If you're doing the same exact play every single time you come down the court. So with that being said, the past nine dudes that this woman has dealt with, all those dudes trying to be nice, all those dudes trying to do everything right, all those dudes walking on eggshells and they all come up short. They all probably get ghosted. They all probably get ghosted for the dude that came before all of them. Why? Because after all these dudes, they still can't make me feel no different. They still can't make me feel better. They still can't take my mind off this one dude from my past. Even though this dude will buy more for me, even though this dude will spend more time with me, even though he compliments me the most, none of that matters because that is not dictating and controlling her emotions, which is all that she's ran by. So until you understand and register that into your head, you can kiss all the getting laid, you can kiss all the attractive women goodbye. So the solution to this, bro, is be a little bit more mysterious, be a little bit more reserved, be different, be more focused on yourself and your personal development than you are on making a woman happy. It's as simple as that, bro. Because when you devote your life to this one chick, making her happy, treating her like a queen, treating her better than her ex did, you are a simp. I'm sorry to tell you, but you are a simp. That's not what she's looking for you to do. She's not looking for you to do that, bro. Just be different. You be different by being spontaneous. You compliment her this day. You make her feel good in this moment. You take her on this day that she ain't never been. You know what I'm saying? Y'all do things in spontaneous areas and places. You get what I'm saying? That's what's going to make her keep coming back. That's what's going to keep her ultimately interested in you and make you stand out from all these other guys. Your confidence in yourself allows you to be spontaneous and charismatic when you're dealing with women. It's natural. You understanding and viewing yourself as the prize, having discipline, having balance, having principles that you stand on and standing on these things consistently, regardless of how fine she is, regardless of this, regardless of that. That's what's going to make her come back, because what do most men do? As soon as that fine girl come in your life, you already know you start falling off. As soon as that fine girl come in your life, slowly but surely, you start spending more and more time with her. Now your bank account is lacking. Now your focus is lacking. Now your discipline lacking. Now your energy level is lacking. Now you're not as attractive no more. You only get caught up in those cycles when you run in that nice guy game in the beginning trying to be somebody you're not. And you only trying to be somebody you're not because you're putting her on a pedestal because you want to get laid. That's it. That's it. If women started telling you upfront and honestly and openly in the beginning of y'all getting to know each other that if you just be yourself, you have a better chance of getting the cheeks. A lot of dudes will stop being nice guys. But if she started telling men that, then they are just run off and get what they want without giving the woman anything. See, you playing the woman's game, so you think that you gotta compliment her, you gotta take her on all these dates. You think that you gotta follow her on Instagram when you ask for the number. You think that you gotta go through all this extra stuff and put in all this work to get what you want from her. Because you listening to her. Because you still in simp la la land. Because you still living in blue pill society. Because you got a needy scarcity mindset. And you think this is the woman of your dreams. You think that this is the best that you can get. So you'll do anything in your power to make sure that she know that. And that's weakness. That's feminine. That's how the role should be reversed. The role should definitely be reversed, bro. You don't want to be like that. Because how can she 
follow you and submit to you when you running up behind her. Like you have to give the women that you want in your life something to be interested in, something to chase, something that's just lingering in her head because it's something new, because it's something different, because her emotions is always fluctuating and changing. You have to understand how to send her on an emotional roller coaster. You can't just be the perfect boyfriend day in and day out because she's gonna get bored of that. She gonna get bored of that. I know it sounds crazy. You do everything right. You're the perfect guy. You'll give her everything that she wants. I know it sounds crazy that that's not what she wants. But bro, trust me, you have to understand that a lot of the woman's logic is backwards. Especially in today's age with all the access to options that women have. You think she ain't came across a dude that's the perfect one? Honestly, bro, any woman that you've ever dealt with or any woman that you want, you think that she ain't came across somebody that could fit the description of the perfect guy? You think she ain't came across somebody that'll really treat her right? But she's still single. You see what I'm saying, bro? So at the end of the day, the solution is not being the perfect guy. The solution is not doing everything right. The solution is not saving her. The solution is not, tell me what your ex did. Oh, oh, my ex did this, my ex did that. Okay, well, let me make sure that I don't do the things that your ex did. You're a simp. It's always you playing your game. It's always what you got going on. It's always her following you. It's always her submitting to you. You understand what I'm saying? Because you don't need to be proving yourself to her because she already got dudes lined up that's doing this. She already got dudes that she can get compliments from, that she can get validation from. She got dudes that slide up on every story that she posts. She got dudes that like every picture that's in all the comments. So you don't have to do all that because these same dudes keep doing that, keep doing that, keep doing it, but they not getting laid. They not actually, they don't have the woman. They just putting in work. They just keep putting in shots. Do you want to actually just be putting up shots for the sake of it? Or do you want to be the one that's in the game? You become the person that the woman chooses by being different being mysterious not always being available you can't always pick up your phone you can't always text her back as soon as you want to you can't always pick up the phone and a, and a lot of ways that y'all get set up with women if you stop texting and calling first y'all wouldn't even talk i don't understand and realize how some of y'all can't pick up and understand the dynamics with women that you deal with and how it's just so blatant and obvious that she don't like you you got to initiate all the conversations you got to initiate all the dates you got to initiate all the sexual interactions you have to do everything while she just reaped the benefits. How does that seem like something that you want? But you keep trying, you keep trying, you keep trying. Maybe if I do more, it'll work in my favor. Maybe if I do more, she'll start appreciating it. Maybe if I spend more, maybe if I buy more, text more, call more, spend more time, she'll start appreciating it. But if she doesn't like you, how does doing more make her start liking you? It's impossible, it's backwards. So you have to realize and flip the script. What is she doing to show me that she's interested in me? What am I doing to be different than any other dude that she has access to? Not that you consciously thinking about it, but it's like, am I being a simp? Am I being too nice? Am I being too needy, too available? Am I doing everything right? Am I pandering to her, putting her on this pedestal? Or am I standing on business? And it's as simple as that. I know it's easier said than done, bro. I know it is, but you have to be disciplined. You have to see things with the bigger picture. If you want her to keep coming back for more, you have to be feeding her scraps. In order to feed her scraps, it's just pieces and bits of things that she want because she putting in work. Because looking good is not putting in work to, to get all these extravagant dates, to get all your time and attention. Just looking good and showing up, that's nothing, bro. You understand what I'm saying? When you get to a certain point in your dating life and in your, in your life as a whole, the women that you deal with, you're gonna find all of them attractive. They're gonna all be able to bring looks to the table but that doesn't equate to being able to get all these extra resources that she wants from you. So what I'm saying is the same way that women that you want put you in position so you have to put in work and put up extra shots, that's what you need to do to them. You'll hear a lot of women say, oh, what do you bring to the table? What do you bring to the table? I bring, I am the table. They say all that type of stuff, bro. And they let that slide because men are simps. Men deal with this. The dating game is so fucked up because men make it like this. Men deal with all this shit, bro. If you stop being a nice guy, if you stop being a simp, if you make her prove herself to you, if you stop, you know what I'm saying, trying to save a hoe, maybe you will get laid more consistently. Maybe women will start viewing you as somebody that's masculine and not somebody that she can just manipulate and use for resources. Maybe she won't ghost you out of nowhere because you're boring to her. You understand what I'm saying? Doing everything right is boring. For example, it's much better for you to link up with a girl twice a month maybe even once a month and y'all just do something extravagant fun spontaneous link one weekend y'all just have fun this one weekend y'all might go somewhere to some restaurant and do some activity that she never did before and she hasn't seen you or talked to you that much throughout this month so she's anticipating all this it's something new she doing it with you you stand out to her so everything about the interaction between y'all is perfect as opposed to you talk to her every day, you text her every day, good morning this, good night this, 
Every single day is always boring, 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 boring. Then you trying to see her as much as possible. You going to burn out quick because that's boring. That's too needy, bro. You understand what I'm saying? Because you doing more than what you receiving and that always makes you lose. It's all about how you can make her feel, how you can get into her mind. How you keep her coming back for more as opposed to her dragging you on a leash and you chasing up behind her. You get into her mind and control her emotions through being unavailable, through being a little bit mysterious by not giving her all the attention and validation that she wants. Because a lot of these women are entitled. So they'll look at you like something is wrong with you because you not compliment her as much as all her options. Because you not giving her as much validation as all of her options. You see, she'll manipulate you into thinking that you doing something wrong because she ain't putting in the work. You understand what I'm saying? Most women will try to manipulate you because they not putting in the work. Ain't that crazy, bro? That's why you gotta see things clearly and not be leading with emotion, not be leading with simp shit because you're gonna come up short. That's the number one reason why so many men get put in the friend zone and just end up getting ghosted. Because once you get put in that friend zone, you're done. Like I would much rather get ghosted than get put in a friend zone because once you get put in the friend zone, bro, it's like you still having to show up and put up shots and do all this other stuff. Being in the friend zone is like having to go to practice, but you can't play in, in no game. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy, right? You practicing all the time, but you, you're able to play. It ain't like you got injuries or nothing. But you always show up to practice. You show up early, stay late, but you can't never get in the game. That's what being in the friend zone is like. You always got to perform. You always got to show up, but you can't really get the rewards for it. You understand what I'm saying? So to eliminate all of that, bro, what's making you different? What's making you stand out? What's making women come back to you? What's making women value you? What's making women want to submit to you? It all comes with masculinity, leadership, confidence, charisma, your mouthpiece. All of these things just come second nature through your self-improvement, through your daily grind, through you showing up for yourself, creating a life for yourself on a daily basis that women can walk into and they're actually gonna wanna stay because your whole life is not set up around her to pedestalize her, to make her your queen. Your life is just set up so you can enjoy dating and women can come out, come in and out of it as you see best fit, how they add value to you. You understand what I'm saying? Because you're not building up a hoe, you're not Captain Save a hoe. It's all about what she can do for you. So if you are in position right now where you're stuck, you lost, you don't really understand how you keep coming up short, you need to get access to my free guide that's going to basically revolutionize you and help you reinvent yourself as a charismatic and seductive man that women just can't resist. I break down so many different techniques that help men avoid the friend zone and get laid on command. So if you want to understand and break down these secrets and get additional bonuses, make sure you click the link in the description and pin in the comments so you can get access to this free guide. And also, if you enjoyed this video, you learned something new or I missed anything, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'm gone.